Guys, I can't say this enough. I'm in love with this. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabuhai Squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? Mabuhai Squad, guys, we're here at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. I can't wait to show you the updates. Let's go. Guys, look at this. Check out what they've been working on. Ooh, we finally have the things that cover the bottom. What are these called, guys? What are they called? I don't know what they're called. They've added this, and it suddenly makes this entire place look more like a house. <laughs> What a difference this little cover thing makes. They've marked where they're going to be adding the lights, the spotlights. See? That looks pretty cool. What a difference. It makes such a difference, guys. I don't know. For me, it does anyway. All right. Love it. And I think they're continuing to work on it. Oh, I see. So it's like panels that they add. Wow. That's so cool. Interesting. RJ, I'm looking at your dining room wall installation. So, um, in past vlogs, guys, I've been teasing you about this. This area here, there's a structure that's going to be built here. And a lot of you guys gave some really good guesses as to what it is. And actually, one of you, Mabuhai Squad, got it right. I was shocked. Um, so I'd like to hear any of your guesses as to what this structure here is. It's something really unique that I personally have never seen in any home. So it's uh, gonna be really cool, I think. OMG guys, they finally installed the windows here. See that? They still need to add one more. But yay, the house is pretty enclosed now. Love it. Sweet. All right, guys, so they've completely rock cladded the aviary. Yes. See that? Hello. Um, and now they're just uh, fixing the upper wall there. They're smoothening it out, making it beautiful, and it will be ready to decorate soon. Yay! They also have to tile the bottom here. Now, in the last vlog, you saw that we went tree hunting for the dead, dead tree that will be going in here. We're still working out the logistics of that because we gotta cut it down, we gotta transport it here, we gotta cut it to perfect size, and then we gotta stick it in this aviary. Not sure how, it might be through the top, um, or it might even just be through this first floor, we're not sure. Um, but we already have the permit to cut the tree that we want, um, and uh, we might need to get the help of an expert to also help us because we might have to drill a pit when I decide where the tree will be going. It's gonna be totally improvised, guys, because, I mean, I kinda have to see the tree inside before we decide, you know what I mean? I need to rearrange it, try it in different positions, then we gotta find a way to secure it along this, these rings here. We might have to use cabling, and uh, that's gonna be such a project, but I can't wait. Hi there, kitty. Random cat that's afraid of me. Yay, guys, I also see this. Look, I noticed they added the spout. See that um, little spout there? Like the, the tip? They've added the tip of what will be the irrigation. See, there's another one also up there. Way up there. It's this little head they've added to the end of the spout of the faucet. What is it, a faucet or? I don't know, like where the water comes out, guys. Um, and that will be able to be triggered through our home smart system. I think I might have a certain time of the day where those will turn on and it will rain inside the aviary for the birds, for the plants. Um, it'll be great. I think I might have it turn on um, at some point, either in the morning or the afternoon. We'll see. But yeah, that'll be great. Ooh, can't wait. All right, Mabu High Squad, let's go upstairs. Yes. Nice haircut, engineer. Good morning. Guys. Good morning. This is Engineer Isaac. He's been living here, overseeing the project. OMG, guys, our headboard. They are working on the structure now for the epic headboard RJ and I bought um, for this area. I can't wait for you guys to see what we chose. I also filmed a 
a separate vlog of us shopping for what will go here. Can you guys guess what? All right, they're working on the sliding doors now for the bedroom office. This is our office, guys. We'll be doing work here and then we could just close and go to sleep because RJ and I often work, work, work all the way to the final minute of bedtime. That will be going here. It's a, it's a hidden door that slides into the wall, so the wall will continue here and it slides into this pocket there. And each door will have a mirror. You guys saw this area here already. This is our pantry. Same thing, sliding doors. There will be a fridge here, um, countertops and cupboards for food, storage, all of that. So we could eat, have munchies. I think a microwave we'll put in here too and a coffee maker. So we can grab snacks. Here's a better look at those spouts. Awesome, see them? That produces like a, almost like a rain effect. Like a, it's like a spray. There are also some up here and there. So we have a total of four of those to help create the effect of rain inside. I love this window. It's right outside our master bedroom. I feel like coming here and somehow fixating branches here so I could greet the birds. Like, good morning, here's some seeds. Hi guys. This aviary is really cool because it gives the birds a chance to really fly, which our late African gray parrot, Legaya, didn't really get the chance to do. Um, like for example, ascending flight to fly up is also a skill birds need to learn and descent as well, not just flying straight. Um, and I felt Ligaya didn't have that luxury because we kept her in a condo her entire life. But uh, this aviary will be great for the birds because they've got space to maneuver, fly around in circles, up, down, loop-de-loop, -loop, whatever, whatever they want, you know. Um, because birds really, especially in their early years, like that, the first few months of them flying, they learn to maneuver in the air as they're flying. And just like humans, we have to learn to, you know, do sharp turns, um, hop. Like, it's not just walking in a straight line. And in the same way for birds, it's not just flying in a straight line. They have to learn to do different maneuvers. And if they don't learn these maneuvers while they're young, it's really hard for them to learn it later. So I'm really happy that this aviary provides the birds that kind of space for them to learn. So I can do, in the morning, I can open this window, give the birds some treats, call them, and I, I really can't wait. Guys, I am so ready to have birds back in our lives again. How about you guys? Modular counter here in the closet room bathroom. Yay! Oh, I love it. Here in the anteroom, wow, there's a lot of activity going on here, guys. Um, it looks like they're still working on the doors. Um, so the company that provides the doors just delivers the doors, but the wood isn't treated. So it's up to us to um, treat it with anti-termite, anti-rot like material, like chemicals, I guess. We have to sand it, like literally every surface needs to be sanded um, and then needs to be varnished. So it's a pretty long and lengthy process. And even the door frames need to undergo the exact same process. So it's really kind of long and tedious. But these here are our master bedroom doors. It's a double door. That's gonna be super cool. Yay, the official outlets are now also placed in. All right. Guys, RJ and I are walking around. We're like talking about moving in. So um, if you haven't seen the last vlog, the plan will be to move in even while they're still finishing up, but they are rushing to finish this master bedroom uh, so that it's livable, we can move in. Now in terms of the dogs, we're still gonna crate train them so that they learn to do their business, pee and poo outside. Um, but I'm assuming there will be times when we'll have to keep the dogs here in the master bedroom. Let's say when there are guests that, you know, don't particularly like dogs or are allergic to dogs and that kind of thing. I'm thinking we might keep the dogs here in this master bedroom. I wonder where they're going to decide to go to the bathroom. I'm hoping they don't go in the bathroom in the bathroom bathroom. I know um, Sahara and Cypher already know that human bathrooms are where they go, but I think we're gonna choose a certain corner to put puppy pads down 
for them to go. I'm sure the dogs would love to go somewhere there or here. Um, that's my guess. Ooh, it is hot, guys. All right, so cooling off here in the van. Workers are on break. I can't wait to move in. Mm -hmm. And guys, also, uh, in terms of the birds, that will be going into our aviary. Already have officially decided what species of birds will be living there. Not going to tell you, going to leave it as a surprise. Um, RJ and I have already been scouting out cages uh, because the birds will have to live in a cage for the first little while. Um, and yay, I'm so excited. I've been watching tons of parrot uh, videos and just brushing up on um, my parrot knowledge and care and training, right? Because, I mean, it's been, what, two years since we've had the Gaia. Just needed to refresh. And yay, I'm so excited to have birds again. Um, can you guys guess what birds will be living in there? Hmm? Leave your guesses in the comments. Um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, target train the birds. Um, again, prepare their food. And just really enjoy living out here in the farm. For those of you who are new and are wondering why is this guy so obsessed with birds and aviary stuff? Well, it's because um, two years ago, we lost our African gray parrot who, guys, was like our child. Her name was Ligaya. And she's actually the reason why we decided to go out looking for a new property to live because I felt like our parrot needed more space than our condo that we were living in, in Manila. So uh, we eventually found this farm and decided we would get this place for us and for her, which is why we have a huge three-story aviary in the middle of the house. Well, sadly, she died during the pandemic from a nervous digestive disease called PDD. Um, and we actually don't know what caused it. She could have already had it at birth, like passed down from her parents. But yeah, it's just really sad. And um, we decided to keep the aviary because you know like the house was already essentially built at that point um and i just decided yeah i'll fill the aviary with birds come the time that you know birds have to move in um and i've been doing a lot of research over the past couple of years as to what the best birds would be for the aviary to fit our lifestyle right um sadly uh, we're not going to be getting african greys again uh, not now anyway, perhaps in the future, uh, but um, yeah, I'm totally ready and this is why I've been going on and on about birds and this aviary. Also, I'm the one in charge of making this aviary beautiful um, because, you know, if it turns out really ugly, it'll make the rest of the house not look so nice either. So, so yeah, I've been putting a lot of brain power over the past, you know, year or two into this aviary. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. The office uh, room sliding doors when drawn. How neat. With mirror. With mirrors, yes. With mirrors. Yay. <laughs> Guys, I, I love mirrors. I feel like it makes a space look a lot larger. All right, all outlets are being installed and covered in some tape just to protect the edges for now. Sweet. All right, guys, we're here on the roof deck now. And they installed a sample of our roof deck lamps. See the lights? They'll look like that. Makes, and they're all over. They'll be installed all over the roof so that at night we can see things when we're here. It's so nice up here. The outdoor part of the air conditioning units are installed here. They'll be installed along here. Um, some down there as well. I cannot wait for them to uh, install the rest of the aviary. It will extend up and across. Let's look down, guys. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oops. I love these awning type windows here at the stairs. We could just open this and a nice breeze can come flowing into the house from here. That's really awesome. We're looking now at our track lighting. So track lighting basically is cool because you can install as many as you want along the track and you can direct where the light points. Oh, here's the puppy, you guys. It's here again. So for those of you who don't know, 
this puppy appeared out of nowhere <laughs> in a previous vlog in our house and you guys were like adopt it but sadly it i mean happily it actually belongs to one of the workers now they've claimed it it's a street dog puppy called an aspen here in the philippines which stands for Ascal Pinoy, which is Filipino dog. One of the workers have al already claimed it, so we uh, won't be adopting it, but it's so good to see you again. Yes. It looks like he's very sleepy, guys. All right, guys, so now we're discussing with Don, the project manager and engineer, how we're going to take the huge three-story tree that we're gonna cut down and put it in the aviary. Based on our calculations, we won't need to lower it from the roof because that was our original plan. We might be able to fit it through this back door and then just carry it here and install it from the first floor. That would be awesome. But right now it's hard to tell if we'll be able to do that. It's hard to say if it will fit through that opening there. They just installed the shower head, the rain shower head. It's huge! See that? It's one meter by one meter square, so it's quite large. I can't wait to shower under this. All right, guys, this gentleman here is varnishing one of the doors. See? It looks so different once it's like painted on. Ooh. It like brings the color out in the wood in such a nice way. What a difference in color. See, that's non varnished. This one is varnished. It's nice, right? It actually is. Um, chosen to match our window frame. Guys, I can't say this enough. I'm in love with this. <laughs> After seeing it so unfurnished and like bare concrete, it's so nice to be able to see these panels here. Just so cool. Right guys, isn't that cool? I find that looks so neat. So now we're just finalizing where the lights will go. I think the position of some of these will be changed like this one doesn't make sense to be there because we have a pillar here and there's a light here so we're gonna move we're gonna remove that and then these need to be centered like right over the door there's kathy interior designer hi good afternoon hi. do you like the look of it she super loves yes me too actually throughout the house this tint is a reoccurring color throughout the home so our door frames these cover things um, and the doors themselves, right, after they're varnished, they're all the same color. Guys, we're all standing here in the shade of the van. Because it's hot, hot. Speaking of lights, guys, what's cool about the lights in this home is the company we're going with is called Landlight. And um, a someone from Landlight will act as our light manager so they have the entire scheme of every single light bulb in our home and if ever any of them needs to be changed they can come here and swap them out they know the exact model and size of the light bulb um, it's all on their scheme that they save for the house so it's kind of cool that we have a light manager for the home they're finally stone cladding areas that needed to be stone cladded i'm gonna finish that because I, th I believe they need to continue it all the way down there under the ant room will also be covered with that same um wooden looking like paneling and lights will be installed here too sweet we've been looking at bare metal for years can't wait to see it all finished up they're now building walls on the side of the stairs here concrete walls see this one's new it's drying um, and they'll continue building one here just to keep the land from you know land sliding down this here is called legaya's path because remember our parrot that passed away who i was talking about earlier she's buried somewhere here so it's kind of like she's uh she's still with us and we call this uh the legaya's path we're now deciding where to put lights along the Gaia's path in case, you know, we need to walk down in the night. We want it nicely lit for safety. We decided to bury her here. We already buried her in this area, but we decided to build the path over where she was buried. Um, we buried her here because bananas were her favorite food. And so burying her between the banana trees was very fitting. We got some bananas growing right now. 
It's actually called Saba here in the Philippines. It's like a, an endemic Filipino cultivar of the ordinary Cavendish bananas that most people eat. It's a type of, um, I guess they call it sweet plantain. Me, I eat it every day, guys. It's so high in fiber, great carbs, vitamin C. I love it. What I love about banana trees, guys, is new ones are always growing. So like, they're self-replenishing. It's so cool. Like, see this? This used to be a baby. It's getting bigger. Maybe I would say by the end of the year, this will be fairly large. These are also babies here. And they'll just keep growing in the area. It's really, really cool. Wow, they even sent a baby banana there. This root system must be pretty extensive. We want this pathway to be well lit because, you know, we don't want anyone getting injured. These are pretty, this is a lot of stairs, guys. There will be lights there as well to help light this entire area here. So it should be good. So guys, apparently this antroom will be the last to be finished, like logistically. It makes sense to finish this last because they're going to be finishing work on the roof deck and um, they'll be, they're still finalizing the main stairs so climbing through the side is still necessary but man, I cannot wait to see windows here. Okay guys, we are now talking about tiling the first floor. What our strategy is, where the first tiles will be laid so that it can you know, set the spacing for the rest of the home. This is gonna be interesting. Hopefully in another couple of weeks, the whole ground floor will be tiled. All right, a couple of weeks? That would be awesome. John's saying that hopefully in a couple of weeks, the entire first floor will be tiled. So these are the tiles we chose for the first floor. See that? It's slightly different from, wait, is this the same tile as the second floor or different? It's different, okay, it's a different color, but <laughs> to my untrained eye, it looks the same. All right, so our entire first floor will be these tiles. See them? We never planned it this way on purpose, but another reoccurring color throughout our entire home is gray. Ligaya, you're still in our hearts and you're forever part of this home. See, everything's gray, gray stone. Um, again, I, we never planned it that way. I just realized it like midway through. Gray happens to be, according to Kathy, our interior designer, a very trending color for interior design. N like now, nowadays, it's all about gray and um, neutrals, right? So there's a lot of gray in our house. Yay, as you guys can see, lights are already working. Our pin lights here on the first floor. Ooh, that does look nice. So we tried two options, one where there are yeah, a tile be, there and a tile here. And this configuration has a center tile lined at the center of the door. And we're all liking this configuration much better. And so now that we know the position of these tiles, we can then calculate the position of all the tiles of the first floor. Oh gosh, guys. The mirror looks so good when you remove the plastic, but we should keep it on to protect it for now. Oh, guys, we like it. This is quartz, right, Ben? Yeah. All right, sweet. This here is the common guest bathroom. We're just admiring the modular work. Sink and toilet need to be installed still. Guys, turns out we're changing the yellow again <laughs> for, for a third time. We're going even lighter now. So guys, a new delivery just came in. A truck full of more lights. Earlier I said every light bulb in our house was from the company Landlight. What I forgot to say was that a few of the lights come from another company called Nominal Living. So those are these lights. Um, for example, the light uh, chandelier that will go over our U-shaped counter here. Um, that's one of these. It's probably this huge thing here. But yeah, we've got several other lights. Or this huge thing might be the light fixture we have over the dining table, not sure. But <laughs> look at how big that is, wow. This one here is quite long too. Can't wait for you guys to see what we've chosen. It took us a while to choose each one of these lights here. Ooh, look at that one. 
I'm pretty sure this one is for our bedroom. All right, guys, they are making good progress on this bottom panel job. They've made it over the uh, front door now. Yay! All right, guys, it's evening now and we're heading home. I always look at the aviary last. Oh yeah, and one more thing about those sprinklers. I've decided we should arm them to go off in the morning because Ligaya love taking her showers in the morning. It allows the birds to dry off through the day. I'll probably have it set off at like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. before their breakfast gets served. Ooh. Sun is setting now. We are heading home now, yay. It was a long productive day. Thank you Mabuhai Squad for watching today's vlog. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's vlog and hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Guys, I love the sunset lighting on the home. It's like an amber light. Ah, oh, can't wait to move in guys. Cannot wait to move in. And guys, I gotta give it up to RJ and Kathy and Don. They're all working super hard and engineer Seriously, like the amount of detail <laughs> and planning required to build a home is beyond anything we ever imagined. Seriously, <gasps> it's really tough.